c'est la saisie Peter Bertrand souillé. Then again, like I said, though it is souillé. The though it means in my my language is just like the sound of thunder rolling. That's that's what my name is. What it means, though it is. You na go ga make ga atu di me sho me sho la me sho la me sho la. It means the river. We've always traditionally known the river as Mishola. And Fort Liard, we used to call it Mishola, Mishola Quint. Mishola Quint, that's where, it, where Fort Liard is. I practically grew up on that river you know, from a very young age. You know, I knew how to start up my dad's kicker, and I know how much gas in the tank to mix and we'd go set fish net and then we'd go out hunting even though I was just a little kid. We could hear the sound and it was the sound of a, an old beaver airplane coming into land on the river, the priest came up the bank and he was telling everybody to get in the plane. You go and you jump in, telling my brothers and sisters. And I was standing there holding my mom's hand and my grandmother was sitting on this side on the, on the ground. And she grabbed a hold of me and I didn't know what was going on. And the priest uh, grabbed hold of me and put me in the plane with everybody else. And that was my kind of a good time with my grandmother and my my parents. We were not allowed to talk in our language. So I did not say a word for three months. We were far away from our parents. and Sometimes late at night, you know, we would be laying in bed and just crying, you know, crying. You know, because we'd, we'd be missing our parents, our grandparents. And I didn't know what was happening. And I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye to my dad. He comes home from hunting and you know, the house is empty, there's nobody around. And to find my grandmother, you know, weeping her heart out, you know. You know, it was almost like a death, you know. We we're no longer around. I would describe myself as a loner. It took me a long time you know, to uh, try to bury everything. There is a lot of anger. And I guess I've, over the years, I've learned how to suppress my emotions. <laughs> 